When vehicle manufacturers design, develop, test, and assemble vehicles, one of the primary responsibilities they have is to tune the safety systems to the, to the design of the vehicle. What we saw in our three crash tests is that ever so slight changes to material or to the assembly uh, as it relates to repairing a vehicle can have devastating consequences to the way the safety systems are tuned. Let's look at the OEM vehicle. And you'll notice that on the OEM passenger side that there was eight inches of pass-through over the D-ring of the passenger side belt during the 40 mile per hour moderate frontal offset impact. This was the baseline and it was consistent with what we saw in an earlier test that was conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety back in 2009. Now let's compare what happens when we know that there's eight inches on two separate tests that were conducted on 2009 OEM vehicles and let's look and see what happens when an improper vehicle repair is made for example utilizing a glued on roof and an aftermarket windshield and we'll see this on the red vehicle. Now remember the two OEM tests that were conducted eight inches of webbing pass through. However, what happens when you, when you affect the tuning of the restraint system? You don't get eight inches of pass through any longer. You get 12 inches. Now, what does that do to the human body? First of all, it affects occupant kinematics, which are the way the occupant moves going forward and going rearward on rebound. What does that also do? that also affects the head injury criteria because if you, if you have too much webbing going through, you, you're uh, engaging too much of the airbag, you're coming back in a different location on the head restraint system, and we'll see that in the actual crash testing when we see the airbags deploy and the occupants rebounding when, the actual, when we show you the actual films. So let's look and see what consequences it had when we use aftermarket parts uh, comparing it to the uh, improper repaired vehicle and the OEM. So what happens when you use aftermarket parts? Does that affect the tuning of the safety systems? As we saw in the crash testing, the passenger side belt didn't allow eight inches like it did on the OEM vehicle, it actually allowed 13 inches of pass-through to go over. So that means the, the restrained anthropomorphic test device is going forward 13 inches and that affects kinematics, it affects head injury criteria, and the reason it does is because you end up missing the almost the entire head restraint like we see on this particular vehicle, which increases the head injury criteria. So what did the crash test prove from a scientific basis? They proved several points. First of all, when you change the assembly of the vehicle and when you alter the material of the vehicle, then that has devastating consequences to the restraint system performance that we've seen on the seat belts. We also see on the injury performance from the ankles, the tip, the, the tib fibs, which are the lower legs, the femurs, which are the bones from your kneecap to your pelvis, those numbers are all increased dramatically when you alter the material and you alter the repair like we see in our vehicle's crash test. More importantly, you also see that these slight changes in material and slight changes in assembly they affect the head injury criteria, which is your brain, which is your ability to withstand the crash forces necessary so that you can walk away with no brain injury. When you mess around with the vehicle's tuning, devastating consequences can happen. And don't take my word for it, you trust the data from the scientific testing.